It began with a whisper from the far reaches of the solar system, an unusual blip in the data stream that was almost dismissed as background noise. But that whisper grew louder, crossing the desks of astronomers from multiple nations until it reached the stage where world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku stood before an audience and announced something that could change the way humanity sees itself forever. An interstellar object designated 3 IE Atlas had entered our solar system. Not just another comet, not another lifeless rock obeying the predictable laws of gravity, but something that moved as though it had intentions of its own. Its path was precise, its speed adjusted in ways no natural object could manage, and it emitted strange patterned bursts of energy, like a coded language travelling through the void. This was not simply a discovery. It was a challenge to everything we thought we knew about the limits of physics, the possibilities of alien technology, and the question of whether we are truly alone. Dot three, i.e. Atlas, first appeared in the data from a deep space observatory stationed high above Earth's atmosphere, a place where interference from our planet is stripped away and the stars can be studied with pristine clarity. At first it looked like an anomaly, a sensor glitch caused by background radiation or a flicker of cosmic dust crossing the field of view. But within hours, cross-checks with observatories in South America, Europe and Australia confirmed the reading. Something was out there moving in from beyond the Kuiper Belt and it was moving differently than anything we had seen before. Normally, interstellar objects like Umamua or Borisov follow paths determined by the gravity of our sun, accelerating steadily as they fall inward. But 3 IE Atlas was doing something else. It was decelerating as though resisting the sun's pull, adjusting its trajectory with a precision that no tumbling rock could achieve. This meant it either had some unknown form of propulsion or was designed to manipulate gravitational forces in ways we don't yet understand. The more astronomers observed, the more impossible it became to fit its behavior into the rules of natural celestial mechanics. Dot. When scientists began analyzing the electromagnetic data coming from 3 IE Atlas, they found something that sent shivers through the research teams. Instead of the random scatter of radiation expected from a natural body, the object was emitting faint but consistent bursts across multiple frequencies, including the radio spectrum. These weren't chaotic or accidental. They came in intervals rhythmic enough to suggest intention. The object's albedo, or reflectivity, was equally unusual. It absorbed a strange amount of sunlight, but instead of simply heating up and re-radiating that energy like an asteroid or comet would, it released infrared emissions in sharp, timed bursts, almost like data packets being sent to an unseen receiver. This was the first moment when the conversation shifted from what is it to who made it. Kaku himself compared it to finding a bottle in the middle of the ocean, not because the bottle is mysterious in itself, but because you know bottles are made, not formed by nature, and they are sent with purpose. Three, i.e. Atlas's journey through the solar system has only deepened the mystery. Its course appears to be carefully plotted, bringing it close enough to study planetary environments without approaching any planet directly. Projections suggest it will skim Jupiter's magnetosphere, using a slingshot maneuver familiar to every space agency on Earth, a way of stealing momentum from a planet's gravity to change speed or direction without burning fuel. This is a maneuver that human spacecraft use deliberately. It is not something that happens naturally with precision, even stranger. Its course corrections are subtle but deliberate, each one maintaining an optimal trajectory as if to minimize energy expenditure. Dot Kaku has suggested that this level of navigation would require either advanced autonomous systems or real-time remote control from its origin point. If it is a probe, it could be mapping the solar system, measuring planetary atmospheres, scanning electromagnetic activity, even eavesdropping on Earth's own radio chatter. And if it's transmitting this data back across interstellar space, then somewhere perhaps hundreds of light years away, another intelligence is learning about us right now Dot, the arrival of 3 IE Atlas has forced scientists, policymakers, and the public to confront questions that have lingered at the edge of possibility for decades. If it is artificial, then it is evidence, or not speculation, that we are not alone. It also means that interstellar travel is not an impossible dream. 
it is happening right now, just not by us. Kaku warns that we must interpret this moment carefully. A civilization capable of building and deploying such a craft would be far older and more technologically advanced than our own, perhaps by millions of years. Their motives might be as simple as exploration or as complex as long-term surveillance. And just as we send probes to Mars and the outer planets without announcing ourselves to any hypothetical life there, they may have no interest in revealing their presence to us directly. This, Kaku notes, could be a test, not for them, but for us. How will we react? Will we respond with fear and secrecy or with curiosity and openness? The way we answer may define not only our place in the cosmic community, but whether we are ever approached again dot as higher resolution imaging from the James Webb Space Telescope and other deep space observatories poured in. The physical form of 3 IE Atlas defied expectations even further. Unlike the irregular pitted surfaces of asteroids or the smooth icy bodies of comets, this object appeared angular, almost crystalline in structure. The symmetry was too precise to be accidental. Faceted panels were arranged in repeating geometric patterns that subtly shifted in orientation as it traveled, as though adjusting to solar winds and electromagnetic currents. Scientists began to speculate about the possibility of metamaterials, engineered surfaces capable of dynamically changing their physical properties to adapt to environmental conditions. More radical voices suggested bioengineering, that the craft might not be purely mechanical, but a fusion of technology and biology, enabling it to respond to space like a living organism. This possibility sparked debates not only in the field of astrobiology, but also in philosophy. If it is part machine, part life, what category does it belong to? And if its creators can merge the living with the mechanical seamlessly, what does that tell us about their level of advancement? One of the most baffling characteristics of 3 IE Atlas is how it interacts with solar energy. Rather than passively warming and radiating heat like a normal object, it seems to capture and store photons, releasing energy only in precise modulated bursts. These bursts occur in multiple wavelengths, infrared, radio, even microwave, suggesting a sophisticated energy management system. The timing and frequency of the releases have led some analysts to believe that this is a form of photonic propulsion or communication, while others suspect it could be harvesting and storing energy for a maneuver later in its journey. Theoretical. Physicists have even begun to propose that it might be manipulating light at the quantum level, bending electromagnetic energy in ways that could allow it to hide or reveal itself selectively. If so, it may have been invisible to our instruments until it wanted to be found, which opens the unsettling possibility that its detection was not an accident, but part of its mission profile dot, while astronomers and engineers focused on the object's trajectory and structure, a separate team of mathematicians and cryptographers analyzed the patterns within its energy bursts. Over weeks of observation, a startling realization emerged. The intervals between certain pulses matched universal mathematical constants, the golden ratio, pi and Fibonacci sequences, values that appear in natural systems across the universe, but which also serve as clear markers of intelligence when encoded intentionally. This is the kind of language that scientists believe would be used for communication between civilizations with no shared biology or culture. It's not an alphabet, but a mathematical handshake, proof that the sender understands fundamental truths about reality. While there is still debate over whether the patterns are deliberate, the coincidence is too great for many to ignore. Kaku has emphasized that mathematics is the one language that transcends worlds, and if these patterns are intentional, then 3 IE Atlas may be quietly announcing, we are intelligent and we are here. Simulations of 3 IE Atlas's path suggest that it will not linger indefinitely. Its trajectory appears to be designed for a specific tour of the inner solar system before it accelerates out toward interstellar space once again. What puzzles scientists is its projected exit path. It will leave at a higher orbital plane than it entered a maneuver that requires energy input far beyond what natural bodies can achieve. This could mean that once it completes its survey, it will engage a propulsion system, 
one we still haven't detected, that will carry it toward a destination we can only guess at. The fact that it has not approached Earth directly suggests that contact may not be part of its mission. Instead, it may be here to observe quietly, gather whatever data it needs, and depart without ever announcing its true purpose. This possibility has led to a provocative question. If such a probe can enter our system, operate undetected until it chooses otherwise and then leave it at will, how many others have done so without us ever knowing?